All right guys, so for our blueberry cherry preserve, this is easy. So we have some cherries and we'll be adding blueberries, some sugar, some lemon, and some cornstarch. Guys, this is pretty much it. All right, so I wanna show, show you guys what I'm working with team. So I got some blueberries. I'm gonna cut up a good amount of these blueberries. And why am I saying blueberries? I don't know, but it's just cherries. I apologize team level up. So I'm cutting up about maybe a third to a half of these dark red cherries. And then the rest of them, I wanna keep them whole. And this is pretty much it guys. These are frozen by the way. So next I'm gonna get them into this pan. I have my heat on medium, which is five. All right guys. And next I'm gonna go in with that sugar. I wanna make sure you add that sugar. That's gonna help to bring everything together. And then I'm gonna go ahead and zest this lemon. This is a half a lemon that I'm using. Feel free to use a whole lemon if you want to. I didn't want the lemon to be that strong or that prominent. So I went in with about half a lemon and then I'm gonna go in with about half of the juice of the lemon as well, just like you see right now. And you already know it's about to turn into something amazing. And then of course, go in with that tablespoon of corn cornstarch, corn cornstarch guys, and just give this a good mix. Continue to mix until you no longer see the cornstarch. That's the purpose of this, guys. Mix and mix and mix. When you no longer see that cornstarch, that's that. All right, and at this point, I went ahead and added some frozen blueberries. So yes, I already have my cherries in there, but at this point, I added my frozen blueberries. And again, you wanna mix and let that cook for about seven minutes or so. And this is what it looks like. At this point, it's perfect. So guys, just to give you guys a tip, if you like your stick like this, do not do anything else to it, it's perfect. But for me, I wanted it a little bit thinner, so what am I gonna do? I'm gonna add a little bit of water. This is roughly about one fourth cup of water in total that I'll be adding, but I'm adding little by little. And guys, just see what a little bit of water does to this. You see how it breaks it up and makes it more liquidy and not as thick as before? It's almost turning to the consistency that I like it. So I'm going in with a little bit more water and I'm gonna mix this up just to see how it is and see if it hits that consistency that I like. And guys, it's getting very close to it. It's semi-runny like I like it. Man, this preserve is amazing. This is amazing. And that's it guys, that's pretty much it. Now we're just gonna go ahead and put this in a mason jar. All right, guys, so at this point, I'm gonna speed it up because I'm sure you don't wanna just watch me pouring all of this in here. But guys, if you have any type of airtight containers or anything, feel free to use those. I believe a glass mason jar works better, but I also think that it's more aesthetically pleasing as well. Um, to the eyes, you can open your refrigerator and you just see something that you created. Rather than a container, you have to open it up and look into it. But guys, just look at that. Homemade cherry berry preserve. All right, guys, you know what to do. If you like this type of content, please remember to like, share, subscribe. And as always, we turn common food into world class. Let's level up and please look forward to my next video. Thanks for watching.